I was 18, and this wasn't how I envisioned life. I had a grand plan of being lazy and moving on without interruption. I guess you could say a part of that vision came true, just not in the way I expected it to. The problem is cancer doesn't discriminate. Cancer has no owner. Cancer has no boundaries. Cancer knows no voice. And cancer likes to stick around. History repeats itself, but I never thought of it happening this way. 18 and again at 23 years of age, and I'm back to square one. Do you mean to tell me I have to do it all over again? The phone rings, standing in the middle of my mother's living room, trying not to stare at my sister because she might see me crying, holding the telephone and talking about dying. It was the first time in a long time I could really cry and share that emotion with everyone else. It's the idea that you've been through this before, but you still don't know what to expect. This could be the last time I ever breathe. I've always considered myself a healthy person. The tattoo across my back swears me into a lifestyle of no drugs, smoking, or alcohol. Yet here I am lying on my back, useless like a broken down car. Am I useless in this state? I may be pale and weak, but I still have my thoughts, voice, and spirit. I gave my life to God, so I knew I couldn't lose that. My turn to be useful came to me in the hallways and rooms of other patients. I shall go forward. I felt my calling to relate. Mothers came to me asking if I would share and console with their daughters. As I would enter rooms and stand next to beds, a smile would fill the empty space. We would chat about cancer and bad hospital food, often ending our thoughts with laughter and leaving with prayer. I could hear the inner monologues of my newly found friends. You don't know what I'm going through. I do know what you're going through. No gift could compare to the gift of understanding and love. The people in my life are not strangers. We are family, my mother, my father, my brothers, and friends. Right when I wanted to leave this life, I found a reason to stay. This is where I belong. This is who I've become. This is who I am. I am me. I don't discriminate. I have no owner. I have no boundaries. I know no voice, and I'd love to stick around.